made it to my new hostel and there's no one else in the room i think that this bed's free but i'm bunk again which would be a blessing it's the only one that's not a mess so fingers crossed this works out i'm just gonna freshen up get changed because i'm really sweaty and then head out The next morning was the start of my only full day here in Vienna, so I had an early start to make sure I could get everything done in one day. Vienna had some of the lowest lows of my trip, as you'll see later in this video, but when I was rambling through Prater the night before, I was followed by a group of drunken men, and it was my first time that I had my finger hovering over the personal alarm. It shook me. I also hadn't made any friends here in Vienna, despite staying in a hostel known for being social, the girls in my room must have been knackered. Nobody wanted a chat, and when you're travelling alone, the loneliness can hit quick and it can hit hard. So yeah, not only was I looking a bit rough this morning, I was feeling it too, although I was hopeful that my wonderful day would turn my mood around. I started my morning with an overpriced acai and peanut butter shake, but the cafe was gorgeous and the server chatted to me for a solid 20 minutes about my plans for the day. And he gave me some great recommendations, so I'll smack what I headed out to start my own walking tour. I started at the Memorial Fountain before heading to Karlskirch, which is considered one of the most gorgeous Baroque churches in Vienna. Then to the Opera House and surrounding streets, wishing I had tickets to go inside. I walked through this stunning park, which we will come back to later, towards the Mozart Memorial, and at this point my mood had done a full 180. I was so thankful. It's a weird feeling, Wednesday, 10.36am, and I'm strolling completely alone through these gorgeous streets. It truly was a, hmm, life is beautiful moment. I finished my walk with some more outstanding architecture at the Hofburg. Everywhere I looked were buildings that I wanted to explore, intricate architecture at every turn, and videos just can't do it justice. I'm in a park 
Um, I've basically seen all of the like touristy things that I think I'm going to be able to see. Honestly, Vienna is not a city that you want to do in one day. I've learned that lesson. I wish I had like just one more day here, but I don't. And also there is so much pollen. My hay fever is, and maybe it's not helping that I'm sat in a literal park and I can see the pollen all around me, but my eyes are streaming. So we're going to get inside now. I'm going to go do a bit of a museum, it's just 10 minutes down the road, and um, yeah.
just in the toilets and I'm really not having a good day. I just feel really sad and maybe I'm homesick. But I just put 50 cent in here and then the door wouldn't open and that was my only 50 cent and I really need a wee. Really that was the straw that broke the camel's back I think. Wow 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 you're in Vienna girl. I'm gonna try and cheer up and maybe just head back to the hostel instead and go to the toilet there. <laughs> when you're traveling it's not always gonna be happy happy whoop whoop whoop. There are gonna be moments like I'm experiencing right now where I just miss home and things aren't going well and I've got a travel day ahead of me. Yeah, we may do. Backpacking is weird. Your mood can shift so rapidly just from making a few simple changes. This is less than five minutes after the last clip. I put my headphones back in, put on my favorite music and readjusted my plans for the morning and the shift noticeable. I know in my heart that I have to come back to Vienna one day. It's not a city designed for solo travel, is what I've taken away from this. Or maybe, for me, it was just the wrong time. Don't get me wrong, I loved the city. The people, the views, there is so much to see and do. But until I come again, Vienna can wait for me. I sang this song I had